Welcome back to M Hood Fishing, everybody. Today I'm going to start off old school. We're gonna do some cane pole fishing to start off this morning. It is late in the morning. I'm getting quite the late start. I had to do some stuff, some admin this morning that took longer than I thought it would. So here we are. It is definitely past 8 a.m. Kind of warm, very humid, with a lot of skyward threats. Could see some rain. I've already heard lightning since I've been here under the bridge. It is so late in the morning. In fact, it is so past 8 a.m. It is just a little past 9 a.m. Since the morning bite is pretty much done, we're going to use worms for that reason to catch fish. And we're going to float fish to start. Putting the worm on a size six Aberdeen. We're fishing a line that's about 10 feet off the tip of the cane pole, which is a 10 foot pole. This line is four pound test, just a little float. The only weight is on the float. We may see some rain while I'm here doing this. Yesterday we had some serious downpours in the middle of the day, led to flash, flash flooding. So this doesn't look too bad. Some places are gonna be dirty this morning. This is a little dirty, but I think the worm is going to work out just fine. There we go, there's a bite right there. I think that's something little. Oh, we almost had it. There we go. Nope. There's some fish right there. I had to lower the cork to, to where we have less underneath it. Nice, nope. There's the bite. He's nipping at it. Got him. Little guy. Do need bait, but that is way too small. Got him. Oh, little cichlid this time. Nice. Starting to rain a little bit too. Took it away from them. This water's a lot cleaner than I expected it to be. I can actually see the fish going for the worm. This is fairly shallow water too that I'm fishing at the moment, about a foot. There we go. And there he goes. That was a goggle eye. I believe the pumping station, which is that way, has already started pumping there's a bit of current drawing this hyacinth towards the pumping station when they're expecting a lot of rain they will start preemptively pumping around here there we go another cichlid got him this is a difficult spot to because the cane pole wants the cane pole's too long for under here. Cichlid, again. When these get really big, they're fun to catch. And they don't taste bad, but they don't make good bait at all. If that hangs out for a while, I might use that for bait. But for the moment, let's switch to the drop shot. Oh, there we go, finally. Oh, he kicked up some water, too. Nice. Yeah, you're right. Now that we can use for bait. That's big enough. Man, it is hot already. I'm going to hang out under here and try to catch fish. Here we go. Oh, finally something out from under here. Just a little goggle eye. The air temp just dropped a few degrees. I feel like we're about to get slammed. I want to try to get at least two more baits before we go. We're gonna fish the cane pole and the drop shot at the same time to try and increase our catches real quick before the bottom drops out here. You see all this moving? The pumping station 
has kicked on and is pumping pretty strong they expect something look at it look at it all moving just i gotta i gotta deal with that they must be expecting something oh we got it we had a bite there too look at it all just sucking in It must have turned on all the pumps all of a sudden. I don't know how much time we have before the bottom falls out. It's supposed to be kind of rough most of the afternoon. Look at it just cranking. Based on the weather app, I have about an hour or more before the real bad weather gets here. It is starting to lightly sprinkle right now i haven't felt a drop but as i look out here i see it on the water <clears throat> i don't think i've ever been here right as they turned on the pumps to see all this start to move i've been other places where that's occurred it can be intense sometimes there we go finally eventually this spot right here is going to there we go eventually this spot right here is going to just get packed up with hyacinth could get totally choked way out into there might not be too bad but it is definitely going to just keep getting more and more choked it's still fishable there's still rumbles of thunder behind me and that's what the sky looks like back there not sure if this is helping the fishing it is late in the afternoon about 10 o'clock now Pretty soon I need to just forget about getting bait and really just start thinking about getting out of here. I've pulled the cane pole up because float fishing is not really, oh, here we go. Float fishing is not really gonna be productive with this much current. We are now on the move. We're gonna try and hit a few spots close by and far away if we have to before this rain event happens I'm gonna stop right here not far what I'm looking for right now are places where fish can hold out of this current this looks like a decent one I've done well here before finally oh and no Here's a bite. There we go. Ah, uh, little guy, but they're there. It's not a goggle eye either. Nice. That. <clears throat> that'll work. Here we go. Oh, whoa! What was that? Nice. Here we go. Oh ho ho! That one is fat. Aggressive hit too. All right, I've had some fun. I've got enough catfish bait for later. Now I absolutely have to go. Look at all this. It's maybe going to happen, maybe not. The air temp is still dropping. The water level out here has dropped. It's probably going to go down to a foot or more. They're still pumping. Yeah, you're right. Probably going to happen at some point today. Maybe I'll be able to fish again. But until then, thanks for watching, liking, sharing, subscribing, and I will see you next time.